shaka time. Yes, yes. If it's Friday at 4 o'clock, it's boom shakalaka. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Ms. Rocky and Shaviva's North End Update Live. Because there's always something good happening on the North End. And every part of town. And everywhere else yeah. in the Cedar Valley. Every <laughs> single part of town. You got every that right. Part of town. And you know this. If you're watching, you know it. And you're not virtually swear. Square. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we got um, our special uh, co-host today, As you can Juliet see, Thurman Dunn. I'm not Shaviva. Yes. Can never be a Shaviva. No. But I'll do my best to help Rocky out today. Oh, bless you. <laughs> bless you. We grew up together, and it's funny. Um, Deb Berry was yes. on our show one uh, time here recently, and she was our first woman who inspires. And you get to be the second one today. Oh, I can't consider that an honor if I'm in the same class occasion as Deb Barry. Deb Barry, I'm telling you. And, you know, I was thinking, man, I, it's every, just starting out good in my neighborhood. Hey, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Good. And we have some comments already. Yes, we do. We have a lot. Um, Rachel Shea says, hi, happy finally to get to watch your show. Oh, hey, Rachel. She's the author of the Buxton book. Okay. And we got her booked on the show, I believe, sometime soon. Uh, Nico Berdeveld says, looking sharp, mama. Oh, oh, hey, baby. That's my little brother. He's okay. so sweet. He's here now to live. Okay. Yes. Um, Nicholas DeBonis says, hi. Oh. Nick DeBonis uh, from Raybun, uh, Georgia. G yeah, yeah Georgia. He yes. He wrote the book, didn't he? Right. Back in what, the 60s. Yes, the yes. Race Relations. Yes. What was the name of it? The Bridge Between. Yeah. Nick DeBoy. Uh, the bonus, isn't it? Well, you got to be French, Juliet. We oh. from Waterloo, so it's the bonus. Yeah, that's well, the Otherwise, the boy. He gave me a little hint, tip, in the um, comment. It said the bonus. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was the bonus, oh, okay. but there are other the bonus. I went to school with a the bonus. I don't know if he's a relative or not. But okay. Felicia D. Smith now says, hi, ladies. Oh, up, hello. Fifi? Oh, Fifi. You know her like that? You do, too. Okay. That's Felicia okay, Smith, Fifi. Bev's daughter. I no, but uh, I don't call her Fifi. I oh. call her Felicia like she's a grown woman. You call her Fifi? Uh, you can't have nicknames? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fifi. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for watching. Yes, yes, yes. Johnson Bertha says hello. Oh, yes. I think she won something on our drawing. Thank you so much yes, for watching, Bertha. everyone. Yes, indeed. You yes, know, yes, um, yes. last week we had a great show. You got to peek on it a little bit, and yes. you got to see. Now, what is Cressida to you? Cressida's my niece. Yes. yes, and you got to see her show up and show off on the show. Now, I know Cressida <laughs> always has a way yes. with words. She uh, is a gorgeous little young lady, and she had the day off, which was un rare. Yeah, that's right, because yeah, she works a deer, so. Yes, we had a great show with her and DJ Suspense, Russell Spencer, who was a great personality, and he really had, we had a lot of fun. I'll put it that way. We had a lot of fun. And, Juliet, you know there's a lot of bad stuff in the news. Uh, it's always bad stuff, and when there's bad stuff, there's always a lot of talk. Oh, I'm telling you. And, you know, you can turn on any channel and find any number of bad stories like this, for instance. Did you hear about the Baltimore officer who planted a fake gun on a man after deliberately running him over. That's sad, isn't it? That's very sad. And, you know, there's bad, there's good cops, lots of good cops, but yeah. then the bad make us all look Absolutely. bad. Absolutely. Well, yes. what about the Detroit man who was accused by three white women of illegally gardening? Oh. Because he know. started a community garden wow. in a vacant playground. Right. I imagine what they're going to be calling that situation, the garden the garden monger or something. <laughs> but, yeah, you have to almost laugh at some of these things. And how about the interview with Gail King and R. Kelly? Hello. Okay. <laughs> talking about somebody going berserk. Uh, if you saw and, that interview, R. Kelly was no joke on that interview. I know. And can you imagine being Gail King and everybody was talking about her oh, composure? Oh, boy. She was really cool. I right. Don't know if I could have done that and been on there with somebody who was acting like a maniac. I know. But guess what? 
We ain't fit to talk, talk about, about that. that. <laughs> we got too many good <laughs> things going on, and you can hear that stuff anywhere else. Yeah. But today here, we're going to talk about our wonderful, wonderful guests. We got Miss Little Miss Brooke Dunn. Hi, Brooke. That's yes. my granddaughter. No, not yet, dear. No. <laughs> We're just mentioning that. And we have Daniel Zilk today who's going to talk about colon cancer awareness. So much good news. Yes, lots of good stuff. And once we get to talk to them. So also, we're going to talk about Will, Fo Will Frost. Okay, and um, Speller's Hardware. They, well, what uh, about Will? Will, well, he was a talented <laughs> acquisition director for Cedar Valley Alliance and Chamber. He's got awarded that. I just saw that. I don't know if it was talking about it on Facebook or where, but they were, you know, giving him some kudos. So yes, yeah, that's great. Yes, that's the kind of stuff we talk about and other stuff like Speller's Hardware right here in Waterloo on the North End for winning the Diversity Award for Small Business. Yay! Yay. All right. We also have Ty Smith. She's going to, uh, she was featured in the Sheen Magazine for her business, Body by Ty. And if anybody saw Ty's body, oh you my. probably would want to listen and pay attention to her because Ty's got a body. Yes, <laughs> and she's such a beautiful lady and sweet inside and out, beautiful personality. And uh, Sherman, Sherman Wise is his her, is her boyfriend, boyfriend. Yeah. Bo, whatever yeah. you want to call yeah. it. They're a her couple. Boo thing. Her, okay, her boo thing. Her boo thing. Okay, <laughs> fee fee boo thing. We got it all going on. Okay, and Deb Barry. Our wonderful, wonderful friend and neighbor, Deb Berry, for her nice. recent cur courier write-up. Um, Deb, you're doing great things over there at KBBG, and she has brought a beautiful change yes. to that company, um, along with, of course, um, Edie Porter, yes, Edie. the daughter yeah. of... Um, Mr. Porter, yeah, Mr. Right. Jimmy Porter, and all of that staff. They got Francine Bernardsdale over right. there working. They got right. who else is working with them? Sherry Day is on right. the board. Um, Toro Sutter. Toro, um, yes, yes. Bob Wright used to be the principal of Lincoln. He's on the board. Yes. Um, I'm not sure Jean's last name. She's on the board, and I think. Gloria Kirkland might be on the board. Okay, yeah, so. all those people work together, and I sure Deb would be the first one to tell you that it's not something that she's done alone, right. but with her leadership, um, they have made some great changes. Right, and her vision for, for change. That's, right. I think that's uh, helped her a lot. Yes, indeed. And so um, to all the people that have made some good, positive moves in the Cedar Valley, we want to uh, recognize you, and um, today is the... Day of the International Day of the Woman or Month, what is it? It's everything. <laughs> it's month, Holy the whole cancer. month that we we being honored. We celebrate too much today. So. <laughs> okay. Another thing we want to do is shout out to Gabby Dewitt for telling us about how Iowa gets screened a colorectal cancer screening program for folks fifty to seventy five, and you can call B H C H Department Blackhawk. County Health Department at 319-292-2225 uh, to find out more. So thank you so much, Gabby DeWitt, for being in tune with the Rocky and Shaviva North End Update live page. And people like that that interject and give us the information that needs to be heard, we certainly appreciate you reaching out to us. We also want to do, give a shout out to uh, Daniel Sales. He's a Lou Henry Elementary teacher, and he. Uh, we want to shout out to him for winning the Snow Day photo contest. Yes, and I think we have a great fo Snow Day photo up there right now. But this guy was sitting in a lawn chair, yeah. and there he is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, he's what you call dedicated. Right. I, you think you'd gone that far? No. To get, no, no, not no. to get the picture, especially yeah. in those sub-zero temperatures. That we've been having. Boy. Girl, it was 50 below <sighs> last couple weeks. So, yeah, that is a fun picture. And yeah. thank you, Daniel Sale of Lou Henry Elementary, for um, winning that. that. That had to be fun. I can only imagine some of the other photos. Snow day. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> sitting in a lawn chair. <laughs> right, right. I saw one on the Today Show where somebody opened up their garage door, and all you could see was snow, snow. you know, and I'm yeah. sure in Waterloo, if you pulled up to some of those corners. Right, and some I've seen some funny videos of people trying to walk on that ice. Oh. And slipping and falling, and one person trying to help the other one up, and then they both fall on. It's been hilarious. But, oh, yeah. yeah, and hopefully nobody got hurt. No, that, I think they were funnies, so. Okay. 
That is great. Yes, indeed. Okay, we got a shout out to our crew, Ed, Mark, Zion, and follow us on North End Update, like our page, um, and uh, WCTV Channel 17 every Friday at 4 or Saturdays at 10. Okay, and I think this is a good time for me to say, Juliet, you are a woman that inspires. So we have gone to Bougie Berries. And because of all of the wonderful things you do as a wonderful mom, grandmother, wife, mother, oh, I said mother, um, model, fashion model <laughs> with your photo- with your own personal photographer, <laughs> right. uh, we just wanted to present this uh, beautiful gift, a half a dozen um, chocolate-covered strawberries from Bougie Berries. And Juliet, thank you so much for just being so awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't thank cry. You. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. So there you go. Oh, and we'll close that up. And because we are rocking, I hate that Shaviva's not here to join in on this, but we brought a little something for all of our cameramen. So, and we also bought Daniel a gift because it's the day, you know, it's the year of the woman and everything, but you got to have yours. <laughs> so without further ado, I think we're going to go ahead and introduce our awesome guests. Okay. And now, we'd like to introduce the one and only Miss Beautiful Brooke Dunn. Would you have a sit, yeah. seat right here with us? Let me move it over a little bit. There you go. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and Daniel Zilk. Yay, Daniel! Yes, indeed. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I look nice. Oh, you mm. do, you do. We don't want you to feel left out, so here you go. You get a chocolate-covered pretzel. Mm. And Brooke, you get a little box of hearts. Oh, you're, you. And it matches your shirt. Yeah, nice. And I get all the rest. No. <laughs> These are for our camera crew. And, um, and yeah. Zion. And Zion, of course. He's our camera crew. You bet. So we want to ask you guys, like we ask everyone that comes on the show, do you subscribe to the Soul Town? I don't, <laughs> but Brooke, <laughs> I'm gonna start. Oh, oh okay. I'm That's what start. they all say. Start. Does that I'm mean Nana has to pay for it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> and Daniel. This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, really? Okay. Sorry. And I always give you credit for keeping up with us. I know. Okay. I'm out of touch. <laughs> oh, that's okay. But but you are missing a lot if you don't subscribe. The Soul Town is a homemade magazine that is a vir- it's about a virtual town. Right. So the Soul Town, and it highlights so many good things right. about people that you may know or people that you should know. And there's articles about so many awesome things. They have a beautiful, uh, a gorgeous fried chicken recipe right in the middle there. And it's a full color um, magazine. And this month, it's it talks fun. about um, educating mil- millennials about the N-word. Oh. There you go. Right? I right. mean, there's so much controversy about this. And a lot of the young people are saying they've changed it and all that. And, you know, I kind of think you don't have the green stamps to change the definition <laughs> of it. You wasn't even around. Right. No. <laughs> but we're, gonna, we're not going to talk about that. That's a very controversial subject and much needed to be talked about. Right. So chilling attacks subjects like that that are so great. And uh, you can learn a lot from the Soul Town. You can get your virtual copy at the Soul Town. But you can also buy a hard copy at Tri City, which is at 305 East 4th Street, or Earth's Beauty Supply, which is at 403 Franklin Street. That's right. So get your copy today. All right, Zion, we have comments? Yes. Nicholas DeBonis says there were six DeBonises. uh, Lucy, Tony, Jean, Laurie, Ted, um, from 1969 to 76. Ah, okay. And then, um, he, this is also Nicholas replying to Miss Shaviva saying, prayers get better. Oh, and thank you, Nick. Brian Sink says, where is that good looking Brian Sink? <laughs> Let's give you a hint. He's sitting on the other end of this computer. (laughs) Awesome. We had Brian Sink on here recently, too. And actually, he was here with the DJ Suspense, so that was a fun show. 
All right. And now we get to sing happy birthdays. We have a lot of birthdays. When is your birthday, Daniel? August 25th. Oh, hey, mine's the 24th. Oh. oh. We're practically twins. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? And There's a lot of people within that that couple of days here, 24th, 25th, 26th. I've met so many people. Really? And when's your birthday? January 3rd. January. So oh, you just, just had month, one. Yeah. Or two months ago. Okay. Yeah. And you turned... 14. 14. Yeah. Oh, my. And so you guys are Leos? Virgos. 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 August 20. Okay. Yes. Virgos. Yeah, my son is a Virgo. Good September people. September birthday or August? September. Yeah. Oh, Lord. 26. No, he's a Libra. Oh, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> same, same thing, because my mom's a Libra. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cutoff is usually around the 22nd between the 24th of every month. So that's how I know he's a Libra. He'd be starting the Libra. So. Okay. All right, so we got some birthday people that are, what would they be today or this week? What are we in, March? Uh, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces that's bash, the right. Pisces bash. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to start with you, Daniel. Would you read the first two lines of birthdays there? But starting with Brooke. No, we're going because Brooke was supposed to sit there, so we're going with Daniel. Oh, okay. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had you sitting on the wrong side of the room. Okay. Uh, Beauty Fitz. Yes. That's a beautiful name. Isn't it? David Green. Yes. Rufus Jenkins. All right. Marvelous Mook. Yes. Did I say that right? You did. Okay. And Brian Graves. All right. All right. Juliet. Um, Rick Vanderwall. Connie Wooten St Stewart. Oh. DJ Days and Kendra and Sarita Terrell. Okay. Um, we have Velveeta. Velveeta Robertson, Abina Sharon Dale, um, Lamont Muhammad, and Adele Kessler. Yes. Kessler, yeah. And we have Brian Graves, Tina Christensen, and Banning Rumsey. Banning, oh, we know Banning. He worked for Brian, I think. That's He's, a different name. He sells cars now. He does? Yes. Oh, you know him too. Okay, now do you know the Stevie Wonder version of Happy Birthday? Of course. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and it goes something like this. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. He did good, he did good. He did, yeah. <laughs> And you know, at that end, I, if I really could sing, I want to say happy, you know, really go out with it, but I never get that far. <laughs> but anyway, so listen, we're going to talk to you, Daniel. I know you've um, come on our show today. In fact, you're the one that let us know that this is a colorectal screening month or yes, awareness. Colorectal cancer awareness month. Yes. The month of March, yeah. And this is special to you, and I'm glad that we actually found time to get you to actually talk about it. Um, how did this affect your life, and when did this happen to you when, when you first diagnosed? Well... Uh, I was, it was found 2013, it was August 28th, mm. 2013, so three days after That's my it. birthday. Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. It was my second trip to the emergency room that week. Mm. And what made you decide that it was time to go to the emergency room? I had been fighting a fever of like 101, 102 for about a month. Wow. And the doc, nobody ever put the puzzle together. And I finally went to the emergency room. I had back pains. And they said, well, here's some Viking and go home. Oh, my. Wow. Yes. And I went home, and the next day was my annual physical. Mm. And the doctor found a lump in my belly. He says, if this isn't gone tomorrow, go back to the emergency room. Mm. And I did. And he, that doctor felt around and listened to my, my belly. He says, yeah, you got slow sounds mm. so we're going to go ahead and give you a ct scan and he come back in the room five minutes later after i returned to my room there at covenant and he says yeah we i've got some bad news for you uh. we're pretty sure we know what it is and we're sure we can treat it oh i said well what is it he said hey, you've got a big nasty cancer in there oh my gosh and the the surgeon was already on his way down to talk to me and is that right so they scheduled you right away. Right away, and my I had a, they admitted me to the hospital, and I had my colonoscopy the next day. Mm. 
Oh, th they did the scope the next yep, day. They did the scope the next day to, to verify that what they were seeing is what they were seeing. And right. The, the doctor couldn't get the scope past the tumor. Oh, my. Yeah. So you had, so uh, did you have any warning signs before, oh, yes. the, before oh, yes. you actually went to the ER? What, oh, yeah. Talk about that. Well, it, it, it's, it actually started four years prior. Wow. I had just had a colonoscopy a couple months. And I started having like a little, uh, like a pinch, like a runner stitch. You know, when you're running, you get that little stitch in your side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I had that feeling, but it wouldn't go away. So I, I went and I had several, like a, several different little tests done. Uh, and nothing was conclusive. Like my blood work was always coming back fine and everything. And, and it was just that little pinch just never went away. It was just there. And then I started noticing blood in my stool and... The doctors kind of dismissed it as hemorrhoids because, you know, I was mm. 38 years, you know, 30, sure. 34 years old at the time when this started. And they're, oh, you're too young for this. Right. You can't, you can't possibly be any, you know. We'll just, just it's hemorrhoids, keep an eye on it. And, well, okay. No signs at all from the colonoscopy? No, no, that was, they said it was clean. Wow. So, so scary. Could be shortly, a yeah, shortly after that first colonoscopy is when everything started. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't realize that until after looking through my Facebook, you know, like you got the remembering your past that comes up on Facebook every day now. And mm -hmm. oh, I started right. looking through it, and I'm like, oh, that's my first colonoscopy. Oh, here's my, oh. Yeah. They must have missed something in there. Oh, my. So, yeah, that, then uh, then I developed night sweats with no, no explanation. I wasn't running fevers or anything. I just would wake up soaking wet. Mm. And then came the fevers and then came the back pain and yeah and my back is bad anyway but so i just figured okay i'm just getting worse or oh no right it was the cancer was causing my severe back pain and the fevers and the night sweats and everything and just because of my doctors i would just see one for one symptom you know mm -hmm. and i would go back again in a couple of right. weeks and the, uh, there's another symptom and but nobody actually sat down and put the puzzle together until it was almost too late, mm. and oh, I felt so terrible. Just, I, I, I just felt like death. Oh, and I'm sure. By the time I got to the ER that second time, I, I just, I told the doctor, said, "I'm not leaving until we get this figured out because I am sick. Mm. There's something wrong." You were very persistent oh, and yeah. insistent. And, and sure enough, that was there was something very wrong. Mm. And yeah. I, I, I hope people will hear what I'm what I'm talking about, and will say, "Hey, you know, I've, I, you know, I, I can't explain this pain in my back, and I've been noticing this other thing too. Right. You know, back pain could just be back pain. Sure. But if you have other things with it, you know, you you could, you could be kind of advanced. Right. And, and what about your family history? Oh my. Uh, just uh, speak to that for a moment. Yeah, my my sister has colon cancer. She, they found hers before they found mine, mm. so she, and she's younger, so she was younger yet. Yes. You see, they found hers five years before they found mine. Mm. And my grandmother had it. My uncle's got different southern hemisphere cancers, with prostate and uh, right. things, and uh, that's that's kind of related too. With sure. A, it's it's a, called Lynch syndrome, mm. which is a genetic disorder that kind of predisposes you it's like an 85 percent chance that you're going to develop cancer wow and it's not just old age cancer which you know everybody sure 70 years old but might as well have colon cancer you know it's just kind of a fact of life but when you're 30 something right and they tell you you have cancer it's like oh that is a devastating blow i was 32 and i was also diagnosed with colon cancer and it runs in my family as well so i i understand the the, the way you feel when the doctor says you have cancer. I had a four-year-old son at home, and I just, you know, you just and don't know, you know, what you're going to go through when you're on this side. Yeah, it's a, it's a so heavy emotional blow. It is. It certainly is. So we um, want to wrap it up, but we want to make sure that people understand the the warning sign. And blood, like, like you said, blood in your stool. My dad said, oh, I drank too much vodka. <laughs> And, you know, anytime there's blood in your stool, that is something to be noted and right. go to the doctor immediately. It might not even be something, you know, when you look in the toilet and see blood, you might not see blood in the toilet. Yeah. It might be on the paper and look like you don't, you know, you try to stop a mortal wound. Sure. 
Like, yeah. like you cut yourself really bad, you try to stop it with toilet paper. Or it could That's just be what it just looks a, like. a little Or it could just be a little, spotting, little, so. little spotting, streaking, yeah. It's that or any abdominal pain, yep. change in bowel habits and things like that. You know, just make sure that you take note, take heed, because those are things that could mean life or death. And they're not fun to talk about, right. but it's something that definitely, I can hear Important. Brooke over here going, oh, brother, seriously, you guys are talking about <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> but it, it is. is. It's nothing that you want to really. talk about. That's, you know, I think that's a, a, a false thing that people think that is embarrassing. But to me, it's not embarrassing when it's concerning your health. Oh, you, bet. you know, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. You can't, you can't make it yourself be sick. I mean, that's just a, yep. a part of nature. So exactly. it's something that needs to be tended to and not looked at as an embarrassment. And exactly. talked about. And talked and, about. And yeah. if you have it in your family, talk to your kids and, you know, make sure that they know. I, I, I put off my for very first colonoscopy because I was embarrassed. Oh, you know? wow. I don't want all and those see, people yeah. looking to be like that or yeah. you know, putting things in weird places. Oh, and, yeah, all yeah. You know, I think a lot of people, when you hear the word cancer, it's like, oh, I'm ashamed. I'm, I'm, oh, and I right. never can understand that, why you're ashamed if you're sick. Mm. That's something you need to get help from. Cancer, if you got cancer, you know, you need to solicit all the prayers you can from all mm. of those that have dealt with it. Or, you know, you know, just the prayer wars need to be out if they know mm. someone has cancer. Right. If, 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 if you've got it and you know somebody else that has had it yeah. and fought it, talk to them. Talk to them. Right. Find out, you know, because the treatment ain't no fun either. Oh you know. right, but still, you know, once you're in there and you get to and you get to experience the treatment and you start feeling oh, better you and you're told that your cancer is gone and you're cured, oh, you there's bet. no better thing than that. It's so it's always nice to have a kindred spirit to be able to talk to about things like this. Especially you know, that's, a that's not gonna dismiss kind of you, yeah. That's... Right. And again, that number to call Black Hawk County Health dis uh, see, what is it called? Co uh, the V H C H department. Um, 292-2225 to find out more. And, of course, Daniel's on Facebook, and he has the neatest yeah. name, uh, Daniel. Sound, he told me it's like flannel. Yeah, right flannel, flannel shirt. Yeah. It took me 40 years to figure that out. <laughs> but Daniel Zilk, you can talk to him on Facebook, and he'd be glad to talk to you about any questions that you have. Zion. You bet. Uh, looking good, Dan, says Amy Cass. Uh, Shaviva says, thanks for giving us first-hand information about your experience. We don't always get to he hear the personal story. It might help save someone else's life. I that's, hope it does. That's right. I hope somebody's watching out there. Not that I hope that somebody has this. Right. But if they have the symptoms and somebody is out there watching, they say, hey, this kind of fits what I got. Right. Don't hesitate. Go get checked out. And don't think about your age. Because I was 32. Right. You were 38. Right. Amy Cass says Dan has no shame nowadays. No. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Especially not when it comes to doctors. I've had so many things done to me. Oh yeah, it makes a difference. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your you story, did. Daniel. And like I said, you can reach Daniel on Facebook. And now, Miss Brooke, we saved a little time for you because we have got to know what in the world have you been doing lately? Well, I've been involved. And a lot of things this past year. Um, just recently, I <laughs> performed um, at the the YWCA birthday party. Oh. Um, it was actually YMCA. YMCA, oh. sorry, YMCA party. It was a lot of fun. I performed two songs. One was "Beautiful Surprise," and the other one was "I Gotta Have You." So I performed two songs. Um, Felicia, shout out to Felicia. She. Oh, wanted Fifi. me to or yes. Fifi. <laughs> she wanted me to sing, so I did, and I I enjoy singing. And this past, or actually, next month in April, um, in school, um, my music teacher nom nominated me to be in Opus Choir, and Opus Choir is where we it's a choir where we sing. I think it's in Cedar Rapids. I think I don't know. I forgot. But we travel and we sing. Um, we have rehearsals, we get to eat, we have a lot of fun, <laughs> and we have a lot of rehearsals, a... and we, it's like a group where we just get to sing. Um, it's the honor choir, Honor right? choir, pretty mm -hmm. much. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I've never been to one of the honor choirs, but I did get nominated, and along as my other friend, her name is McKenna, we both got nominated and we got picked, so I think this next month in April, I don't know what the date is we're gonna go down there rehears have our rehearsals after school sometimes before school and then we have this big 
performance and we get to sing. Awesome. And I know that um, you sang at the North End Art Fest. Yep, she? she'll be doing it again this yes, year. Yes, I will be doing that again. And for those of you who don't know um, Brooke, she is one of the girls that help with the North End Update yeah. Youth <laughs> Extension. And, and we will start that up again. I don't know when, but we will soon. Right. Have the, so if, you, if anybody, any kids would like to get an interview and have stuff that they're gonna they're doing it just um, hit my nana up or me talk to me and then you'll be on our show right so or you can uh, of course you can contact Rocky and Shaviva live or North End update at gmail.com if you'd like to schedule an appearance on the show and your show kind of highlights kids yeah. 16 on down to middle maybe school, middle school. school yeah. Yeah. We don't really do adults because we're doing that. Because we got that <laughs> yeah. covered. Yeah, and right. I also will be on Set the Stage. Um, Set the Stage, yes. right? That's something else Fifi is doing, right? <laughs> yes. Um, June? Yeah, June. In uh -huh. June, I'll be singing. I did that um, last year, too, uh, with the Dream Girls tribute. That was, a, like, so much fun. Oh, and, I bet. Yeah, so this year... I'm sure Fifi would have a lot of <laughs> a lot of. They're um, trying to take ideas. my name, Fifi, for you. Yeah. Uh, um, she'll probably have a lot of ideas for this upcoming up show. Um, also in June, I, or maybe it's in July. I don't. For Fusion. Oh, that's what I was June. gonna say. Yes. Not only do you sing, I, but you yes, dance. Yes, I dance. I've been dancing for like four years. Um, I've been going to Fusion for four years. Um, dancing and way before that. Yes, actually, yeah. I've been dancing since I was like a little little girl. But like, I've actually. Like, four years ago, I started to start dancing at a studio. And it's a lot of fun. In June, I think, like, the second week of June, we have this big performance at the Gallagher Blue Dorn. Oh, my. Well, you'll yes. keep us posted yep. on I'll that. that um, right. Yeah, I do, like, three classes, jazz, hip-hop, and modern. I do three classes, and it's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, could you show me that one hip-hop move, you know, the one that goes... <laughs> What's the uh, Tatiana? No. Uh oh, no, wait, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're not, we're not do doing that. all that, Grandma. It's no. cute, Nana. It's not, it's not really. Oh no, it's kind of no, cute. We don't. We, we we yeah, we're more professional. Oh, dance. We, oh. We're not, yeah, we're not trendy. Well, we are trendy, but like we're not. Yeah, we just make up work. We're not doing yeah. things on yeah. on demand right yeah. now, <laughs> Nana. That's and it. yeah, okay. okay. Well, thank you, Brooke. We always like to keep up with you and find out what you're doing, and and it's just great to see you blossom and grow into a young lady. Yeah. From the first time I saw her on the stage at the North End Art Fest, I knew that she was something special. And talk about your grandson real quick. He's gotten some looks from the NFL. Oh, um, we're all excited Lance about that. Lance Dunn Jr. Yep, he's at. Um, He's at pro training camp right now. Oh. Um, they have a pro day at North Dakota State. It was March 28th. And that's where all the pro scouts come, and they check them out. They do drills and stuff like that. Oh. And, you know, they want to see if they're NFL material. Well, so Good luck. Yeah, everybody say a prayer for LJ. We call yeah. him Jeezy. Okay, um, Jeezy. Yeah, I had Go a great college year. Um, I don't know if everybody knows, but, you know, North Dakota State, they won seven championships. Yes. They won their last one here. Just uh, finished up a trip from the White House because of that. Wow. And, um, yep, we just, you know, this is, this is his dream, so I'm glad he's able to pursue it. I really am done with football. But, okay, uh, I know you traveled <laughs> all over the world and back. It's just, you know, football is, to me is a it's a real tough sport. Oh, so it is. So you got to have a people. thick skin if you're a grandma or a parent. Oh, honey, tell me. Because of the injuries that can happen. But, you know, I, I'm rooting for him, you yes. know. Yes. And I hope all of you guys are because he's um, – Giving a name for Waterloo, he's kind of putting yes. us on the map, you know, the with the publicity he's getting. So, right, right, and Kudos, congratulations, yep. you bet. <laughs> Kudos, Jeezy. Yeah. All right, we want to talk about next week real quick. We got a young lady named Lashonda Hamner that's going to talk about opening up the African American Museum really? on Fourth Street. It won't be long, and it sounds like they got some plans. So yes. we're going to find out a little more from her, and then we got our wonderful Pat Kennedy. Kenny, I'm sorry, Pat Kenny will join us, and of course, Mayor of the Heart, and our Students of the Month, and we have some names for those. We have Karis Roberts Karis from Roberts. East High, and she's a debutante this year. Oh, that's right, yes. so you'll get to run into her. Yes. Aj Ajla Mahuljik. 
Yes, and that's West High student. I'm sorry, I mispronounced the name. <laughs> and and then, yeah, then our expo student will be announced at a further time. Right, well, we got that oh, last God. minute. Hot news hey, just came in off okay. the press. Carmelita Salcido. 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 Carmelita. Okay. So congratulations from Expo. And those students should be here next month. And Travis may stop in to actually give you your $50 gift card himself from Travis Ferguson Real Estate Team. So it'll be a party next week as well. Get your colonoscopy scheduled. You bet. Right? right. Get Stay it done. On. Yes, this month. Right. Stay on top of it. Right, right. And as always, keep watching and liking and sharing our videos. And thank you so much for watching us today. And keep doing what makes you awesome because you're making us all look good. See you next time. Bye.